I'm gonna answer some questions, don't we? We've we keep we keep our ears open. We um, we we see what people are asking out there. We kind of learn along the way as well, and and so we want to do a, a basically a uh, address a myth in marketing that that we maybe many of you might have questions about. Um, sometimes tools become popular, and so everybody thinks you have to have certain things. And so today's question that we want to address is: Is ClickFunnels required in order to how to have or build an online business? So what what would you say to that? Yeah, well, here's one of the things that I know is that building out of your business online, people get to the point where they say, well, everybody's using this and everybody's using that and people are doing this and they're doing that. Like, well, I have to do that. And here's one of the things. Now, do I like ClickFunnels? I love ClickFunnels. I, I, I'm a huge fan of ClickFunnels. I think it is an amazing set of software. I think it does amazingly good things for you and can help you tremendously. But I know there's a hang up with it and that it's like $97 a month. Yeah. And people say, I don't, you know, I, that's $100 a month I need to be spending to do this. Now, here's what you have to understand. Do I think it's a great tool to use? 100%. Do I think it's a can do an amazing things for your business? 100%. Do I use it? Absolutely, I do. But do you have to use it to get started? No. And here's some things that I want you to keep in mind is that you can grow your business at a, at a rate and at a pace that works for you. If taking on that $100 extra expense a month is going to be a challenge, if it's going to be a problem for you to be able to do it, there are alternatives, okay? There are other ways of doing that. And and here's one for you that I, it, and the good news is, is that the more you move down the path, the more you go down this road and we keep moving further and further out into the technological future here, so many themes are coming with so many more features to them. Um, they have the ability to create things right from that theme on your website. Um, these other email services and so forth have all sorts of things built into them to help you build landing pages directly from the email service. Mm -hmm. um, so these are things I want you to think about. One of the alternatives I would really tell you is optimized press. It, you can get... Um, you can get started for that with like a for a, is it a single site, Chris, for like a hundred dollars? Yeah, I think yes, about one nineteen uh, for okay. one year license for one site. I think right. Okay, so you have that, and then even if you don't just choose to do all the ongoing support, I think you can still have the license just for that hundred bucks total. Okay, so that will. I mean, and then ongoing, there's a support fee if you want to keep paying for support. Now, obviously. It's a pretty good idea to pay for support because if you have questions and things get stuck <laughs> later on, you don't want to be stuck with not being able to do it. Um, but that has been a service that I've used on our websites for a long time now. It has the ability to do all sorts of things for opt-in pages, marketing funnels, membership sites, all that stuff's already built in. You have other email services like ConvertKit and FusionSoft. Um, all these other email services, there's a number of them out there that also have landing page builders that you can use. Now, are they as good as some of the other ones? No, I would say they're a little more restrictive. They don't have the level of functionality to them. But if you're already paying for the email service, because having an email list is really important, that would be one I would really recommend you grab early on is get a service that allows you to mm -hmm. build an email list and to be able to communicate with people ongoing. But you can use them to build out some basic um, some basic opt-in pages. You can use them to build out some different pages that you can use for marketing and so forth. It's not as good, but it's also saving you the $100 a month fee if right now it's not a good budget item for you. So then I would look at it as you build your business, as you grow into it, as you start getting more clients, you start getting more sales. Should you then think about adding in a ClickFunnels to your account? Yeah, I, I do. I do think it's a good idea, but don't let it be like this barrier to entry for you. I don't want you to think about like, I can't grow my business because to, to grow my business, I have to have a ClickFunnels account and I don't have the hundred bucks a month right now in my cash flow to really pay for it. So I'm stuck and I'm not moving forward. Don't let that be your story. Don't let that be the thing that stops you from moving forward realize there are other ways to do it. And like I said, with all sorts of different website themes, again, one of the main ones that we use as online marketers is Optimized Press simply because it's really built 
for online marketers, it's really built with us in mind. We're the, we're the target customer really for that. Uh, but there are other ones as well. And when you look at your themes for your website, just look at it. Does it have the ability to build you know, opt-in pages? Does it connect with my email service? Or look at your email service that you already have. Can you use that? Can you use that to build into it and to get some basic stuff going? Because the important thing is not that you get stuck on the question of, oh, I got to be able to come up with the money out of my personal budget to pay for a subscription to something like ClickFunnels. The important thing is, is that you're moving forward and starting to get customers. You move forward and start to get customers sooner or later. What ends up happening is the business starts to pay for all these things itself. The business is generating the income to pay for all the tools and services that you need. And when that happens, the expense is just the expense. It's done. It's yeah. taking care of the business takes care of it for you. So anything you want to add to that, Chris? Yeah, I mean, I, the only other thing I'd say is, folks, I know some of you out there are using like ConvertKit as an example, and, and I'm a ConvertKit user for my emails, and they do have landing pages for opt-ins for your email list, but they also added a, and this is them responding to the market needs, they added a product uh, option. So if you have a digital product that you want to sell, or you have a coaching program that you want to get started with, you people can actually sign up through that, and then you can track them in. You know, so once again, it may be simpler for you to start that way and then expand, like David said, to an optimized press or click funnels. Um, but, but once again, I think, David, to your point, we, we get so hung up, uh, especially early on. A, we look at everything as an expense versus an investment towards a tool for our business. Right. And so so I want to encourage you folks to think about that, that, you know, if like if click funnels is ninety seven dollars a month, how many clients, how many uh customers do you need to pay for that $97? If you start to realize that, then you realize, you know what, if I just had one new customer a month, I, I'm, I'm good for the year, you know? So we have to think about it that way, but um, but we don't want you getting hung up. And, and David, honestly, I mean, that's one of the reasons we created the Design Launch Grow uh, coaching program, right? And, and to help with these types of questions and, and helping people really understand what are the tools they really need for their business based on what they're offering. And um, any thoughts on that? Yeah. I mean, this is why we built Design Launch Grow. This is why we, we've done this because we know there are so many people out there who have it in their heart that they want to have their own business. They want to get things started. They want to get some something that they have that they know is very valuable out into the world. And that's why we started Design Launch Grow, but because people need help. People yeah. need help understanding, should I do this or should I not do this? Should I make this decision or should I not make this decision? Should I buy this software or should I not do it? So these are the types of questions. And the thing we did today was just, we're, we're just wanting to come out and help answer some of these things to keep yeah. people moving forward. And yeah. uh, we want to keep you making progress. We don't want to see you get stuck on something because you feel like you can't move forward. And that's what we do in Design Launch Grow all the time is we are putting things out there. We're putting coaching every week. We get on coaching calls to help people really figure out what's my next step. What's the next thing that I need to do in my business? How do I need to do this to be able to grow, to get that customer so that you are getting clients, you are bringing in revenue and all these things can now easily be paid for because you have a business that's generating enough to cover all the expenses. So sure. if you're not already a part of Design Launch Grow, we would love to have you join us and come check us out. Uh, it's only $19 to get started. We did this in such a way that we want everybody to have a chance. We want everybody to be able to grow their business. And we, we know that in order to do so, we need to keep the expenses low. So if you go to designlaunchgrow.com, you can read all about it and find out all the details. But again, we offer a, a two week trial to get started for only $19. Yeah. And you can come kick the tires check it out and you can see exactly all the ways that we can help support you and to care about you and to take care of you and to push you forward in your business into the future. So really hope we get a chance to help you because our mission is to help as many entrepreneurs as possible be successful in their business and to do that thing that they feel in their heart that they are called to do. Absolutely. So folks, we uh, we just, like I said, we just wanted to hop on today and answer one of these questions that we are seeing more as a common question out there. As we hear more, as you have more, you know, we, we plan to try to address any myths that are out there, any challenges that are out there that are hanging us up uh, in the business world, because we do want you to be successful. So uh, we'll just look forward to connecting with you guys next time. Sounds great. See you, everybody. See you guys.